everyone. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the Revelation 12 sign, and I want to try to explain why I believe this sign has already taken place. I believe the sign that's occurring on September 23rd may be important as well, but I don't believe this is the Revelation 12 sign. And I want to try to explain why in this video, and it's actually pretty complicated, as you can see from all the tabs up here. There's a lot that I want to try to explain. It has to do with the pyramids, and it has to do with the number 27. But I just want to say that I believe this sign may be significant as well. But what I think is more important about this sign What's more important than the alignment that's going to take place on September 23rd, which is this alignment over here between Regulus, Venus, Mars, and Mercury. They all line up in a straight line. And that's what's significant about this sign over here. And then when you add these three planets to the nine stars in the constellation Leo, that makes 12 stars, supposedly, and this supposedly makes up the crown of Virgo. But one of the problems that I have with this is that I just believe this is too huge to be considered a crown. I've said this before, that no one would be able to walk with a crown that big. They, they probably wouldn't even be able to stand up with a crown that big. That, that's just too huge to make up a crown. And I've always believed that, or for a long time, I believed that the 12 stars are always in Virgo's head. And there's different configurations that people have come up with that could possibly make up the 12 stars in Virgo's head. There's this one over here, which actually includes part of the stars in Leo's tail that seems to make up a garland. But when I was researching this about a year ago, last year, I came across this image over here. And I couldn't help but notice this number, this star number over here, which is HIP 57779. And of course, this is the Hebrew year 5777 and 9 is the number for judgment, and the HIP is the name of the satellite that was launched back in 1989 until 1993. So all the stars that have this abbreviation in front of them are stars that were given their name back at, during that time. So this has been the name of this star since sometime between 1989 till 1993 is when this star name was given. And it's interesting that it's in Isaiah 7:14 that it says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. So that's in Isaiah 7, 14. And 7 plus 7 equals 14. So this is almost like it's, 777 and then again you have a star number that's 777 and this is Hebrew year 777 and so I don't know if that's all just coincidence but getting back to the sign on September 23rd what I wanted to say is that what I believe is more important than this alignment over here is the fact that there's going to be a conjunction between Regulus and Venus just a few days before because another thing that we need to keep in mind about this sign is that this is actually not even the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets is actually on September 20th and it goes through September 22nd and so when this sign takes place, this is going to be after the Feast of Trumpets, but just before the Feast of Trumpets, there's actually going to be a conjunction between these two stars, which I believe is much more significant. And this is part of the reason why I believe this all began a year ago with the sign of Shiloh. There was some very important signs that took place last year that I want to talk about. 
And this is where the pyramid comes in, or at least this is one of the places where the pyramid comes in, because the height of the pyramid, it's been estimated that if the capstone were to be added, the height of the pyramid would be 5,776 inches. And it was in the year 5776 that all these signs began to take place that I want to talk about. But we also see a precedent in the book of Esther with the 12 months. And the book of Esther just so happens to be the 17th book of the Bible. I've talked about that before and the importance of the number 17 with the way the, the books of the Bible are, are laid out. But this is the 17th book of the Bible. And it's actually in verse 12 where it talks about the 12 months. And you see that it says here, now, when every maid's turn was come to go into King Ahasuerus after that she had been 12 months, according to the manner of women, for so were the days of their purifications accomplished, to wit, six months with oil of myrrh and six months with sweet odors and with other things for the purifying of the women. So we see a precedent here of 12 months of preparation for the bride and it's mentioned here in verse 12 and then it just so happens to be in verse 17 that Esther is crowned queen that's when the king sets a royal crown upon her head and I'll just go ahead and read the verse it says and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. So again, we see that Esther was crowned in verse 17. So this would be Esther 2.17, which again looks like the year 2017. Okay, so I want to go back. To about a year ago this was on August 4th 2016 and what occurred on that day I believe was the sign of Shiloh or at least I believe this was a prelude to the sign of Shiloh it may be that it culminates this year and I want to show you what's going to happen with the constellation Leo on September 20th because it's very similar to what took place here on August 4th, 2016. But as you can see, you have Venus, which is a bright morning star, right at the thigh of Leo. And it's also right by the Alpha star, which is the star Regulus, which means the king. And then you have Jupiter, which is the king planet, right by the feet of Leo as well and this was believed to be the sign of Shiloh you can see that here in Genesis 49 10 it says the scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come and unto him shall the gathering of the people be and I had talked about how the lawgiver would be a reference to Jesus and Jesus is known as a bright morning star and Venus is known as a bright morning star so I believe this is a reference to Jesus and as you can see the planet Venus was right at the thigh of Leo and what's interesting about the word thigh is that it's only used one time in the New Testament in Revelation 9 16 where it says and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords and again Regulus means the king it's right at the thigh of Leo and the planet Venus was right at the thigh of Leo and there were some other signs that took place last year that I want to talk about as well but I want to skip over to this year because once again there's going to be a conjunction between Regulus and Venus this is going to occur on September 20th 2017 and this is why I believe this conjunction that's going to take place on the 20th may actually be 
even more important than this alignment that's going to take place a few days later on September 23rd. And I want to talk a lot more about the pyramids and the Sphinx and what I believe this all means and why I believe this all began to take place last year. But what I want to do right now is in this video with a short video that explains the importance of this sign that's going to take place on the 20th. So I'm going to, on September 20th, and so I'm going to end this video with this short clip over here, but I'll continue with more in the next video. Thank you.